No cow, Tivity. Freezy. Freezy. What up? You are officially locked in to No Captivity with Freezy, where we tackle issues that sometimes have us trapped in this thing that we call life. But if you know me, you know my motto. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. And if you're out with your dog, please hit that like and subscribe button hard right now and also comment and share this video that is if you're out with your boy freeze no let's go tonight we're going to discuss something i'm sure 90 percent of y'all didn't catch that's right 90 percent of y'all i guarantee you that on the newly popular viral show pop my balloon or find love and what I'm about to show y'all is the biggest backfire that you never noticed on Pop My Balloon or Find Love. This one here for the thug. thug, thug. Now, it all started with episode three about four months ago during a contentious back and forth with Daryl, a.k.a. Umblehood, and the young lady in black and white, Rizoma. No captivity. And Rizoma didn't have too many kind words to say to Daryl, a.k.a. Umblehood, to say the least. Now, since then, they both appeared on the reunion show about two weeks ago. So it's obvious that they didn't choose each other, but the tension never ceased as there was some harbored animosity revealed later on. And when it showed his ugly head, we was able to see something extra that might not have caught y'all eye or did it. But before we go any further, let's look at the initial footage from episode three of Pop My Balloon or Find Love. I'm gonna hand this over to you. Careful with the briefcase and the mic. Okay. All right. You got to Why you Pay attention to the briefcase too. It's very important. Pop yours. You ain't fucking with me. Personally, you talk like my little brother. Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead. Go How on back. You? I'm 26. Okay. And you and you and you talk like my little brother. I Where feel like from? I'm talking to my little Chicago as well. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So we can see right there she's coming out very condescending with no hesitation. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. There you go. She called his briefcase fake and there's probably nothing in it, which is giving an indication that he's fake. But let's see how my boy handled it. What, also, what I don't like that the fact that you put your briefcase? hat. What would be why do you have a hat on? Fake briefcase, though. Fake briefcase I mean, the hair done. Something. It's done. It's done. So why don't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I don't understand. I just want to see your hair though. I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with you feel me, Chicago women most of my life. You okay, you feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles, you feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all. So as we can see, both of them are from Chicago. But this young lady, Rizoma, is clearly making a distinction that they are not the same. No captivity. Now, Umberhood and Rizoma did meet back up later on two weeks ago during a reunion segment of Pop My Balloon or Find Love. Check this out, No Cap Crew. And then so Rizoma, <laughs> how, um, like, I guess I want to say during that situation, um, it seems like you were just like, all right, I'm thinking of everything, I'm going to fire at this guy, I'm going to say it all at once. Like, what was going through your mind in that moment? So I guess I should just like kind of give you all my thought process because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, you degraded him or anything like that, which I can totally understand why they saw it that way. For me, it was more so like a correction. Mm -hmm. So you clearly came out to the show you were playing a role, right? So Rizoma felt like Umberhood needed a little correction because she's just so sophisticated and all. You feel me? This one here for the thug. And like, this is my thought process. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to pop my balloon right away. But he came on sneakers. Joggers, briefcase, sweater, trucker hat, and then a fake flower. And I was like, okay. Kept analyzing. He was in front of me. I saw that the zipper was in the back of the briefcase. I'm like, oh, it's open. There's nothing in there. There you go. The infamous briefcase back again. Rizoma just won't let up, will she? And I was like, okay. I was like, so if you're going to play a role, at least play it correctly, right? Mm. But it was almost like you have to ask it. And then, I'm like, if you're not playing a role and that's really who you are, it's like, okay, can't be upset. Bottom line is, I analyzed the entire situation. I saw a bunch of things that I didn't like. <laughs> no captivity. 
Now, to further show how sophisticated Rizoma was, at the end of the reunion show, she plugged her new perfume that she about to come out with. Yeah, you heard me right. Her new perfume. I don't know what it's called, but it should be called sophisticated. <laughs> And I want all the ladies to smell my perfume before we leave. <laughs> but you made, made it? it? I made it, yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah, I made it. I got oh, it right here. Oh, she great up. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, it's a cute little package. That's really pretty. Yeah. There you go. I'm excited. Oh, very, right Hey, very right. creative, okay? Oh, she's bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? No captivity. Is that a damn tag? On the back of your pants? Don't tell me she left the house with a tag still attached to her damn pants. Not Miss Sophisticated Rizoma. Not the girl that was talking about Umber Hood's briefcase and how it looked fake. What you plan on doing, Rizoma? Taking your damn britches back? I mean, come on. No captivity. <laughs> Yup, I looked all over YouTube and I couldn't find anybody that caught that damn tag in the back of her pants just swinging like it's on a playground or something. Shout out to one of the No Cap Crew sisters, Impressive Vibe, for catching this and bringing this to her brother Freeze's attention. I don't think y'all seen it. Let's rewind it and play it back this time in slow mo on Miss Sophisticated. <laughs> oh, she's bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> yup, she making sure she take them damn pants back as soon as this reunion segment over with. No captivity. Damn, Rizoma. Next time you need to think twice before you go to talking down on somebody like you better than them. Well, there you have it, folks. What might be the biggest backfire on Pop My Balloon or Find Love? But I hope when it's all said and done, these two can find a mutual respect for one another. Because whether the briefcase was fake or she ended up taking them damn pants back, there's no need to talk down on anybody. More to the story. No captivity. And to support stories of this magnitude, you can do what the scroller say. Either send a super thanks, which all super thanks will be highlighted and read during the intro of every live stream. That's right, a super thanks. That's the heart shape with the dollar sign in it, right below the video. And also, you can send a cash out to dollar sign Freezy 1976. That's dollar sign Freezy 1976. And I thank you in advance. No captivity. After watching this video, make sure y'all comment down below because you know your boy Freezer going to be down there with you. And that's a fact. And last but not least, please share, share, share this video because that's the only way we're going to grow. Y'all know I love y'all. And like I always say, to free yourself, you must heal yourself. And until the next time, we out of here. No captivity. Freezy. Freezy.